Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. It's your boy Riverboat Rob. I'm going to take a few minutes to thank everybody that's been commenting on the videos, that's been liking the videos, subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification bell if you can. That will let you know when I post something new. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, please. Uh, it really helps me out to uh, make more of these videos. With all that being said, Let's jump right into the bait that we're going to talk about today. So the bait we're going to talk about today is a little different um, than the last two that I have done. Because the last two I have done have a very unique history. They've been around, different names, uh, changed names, uh, kept secret and all that. This bait's kind of more of a under the radar bait. It's different than any top order bait. I don't think there's any other bait that does the same thing this one does. I, I could be wrong, but pretty sure it's, you know, it's a one-of-a-kind bait. And it's designed for a very uh, certain situations. Like, this, it's, not, it's not a bait you just throw all the time. This is for, like, when, and I'm sure you guys have experienced this, like I have myself, when you see those fish uh, busting all over the place on, on top of the water. Like, you, you know, you're casting over here. And they're just they're just busting everywhere, and, you, and so you start throwing at them. You can't get them to bite nothing. This is the bait for that. Uh, so the bait that we're talking about today is the jackal riser. So this happens to be the jackal riser 009. The one we're really going to be talking about is the 007. Unfortunately, I broke my 007 off um, last season, and I'm on the hunt for a new one. I need to pick some up. Um, but the 009 is a heavier version of it, and it has a prop on the back. The 007 doesn't have the prop on the back. So this bait has a lip, a very unique lip. It goes up, and then it curves down, and this is for a reason. It kind of looks like a chatterbait uh, lip a little bit. So the reason I say the 007 is really the one you want, and I could be wrong. The 009 may work just as well. I don't know. Maybe people can let me know because I can't say from uh, personal experience. I have not tried the 009 yet, but the 009 is heavier. Um, it's three quarters ounce, and you can throw it on a bait caster. The 007 is more finessey. You have to throw it on a spinning rod. So the way the bait works is when you throw it out there, it sinks. But when you steadily retrieve it in, it uh, comes up to the top and it mimics a bait fish trying to get away and it mim it does it very well So some people will say that it just steadily retrieve it walks the dog mm, It kind of more Goes like this when you retrieve it and you retrieve it real fast and it has it has a cup mouth like a popper It's spitting water and it's just like it's just like it does a great job of a bait fish darting and uh, skipping uh, you know, away, and like a, fr uh, 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 a, a frantic, uh, I gotta get away, I'm, you know, running for its life, I guess would be the best way to put it, 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 it mimics a bait fish running for its life, um, and fish eat it, uh, one really interesting thing that I've seen on this bait recently, a few months ago, um, I believe it was, uh, Bass Fishing HQ, I believe, uh, it put out a video uh, about this bait, and that uh, in their video, and I'll show the same footage. They show Scott Martin using this bait in a in a Bass uh, Masters Open and gets a top ten. No, if it was solely on this bait or not, I won't give you any false information, but it's definitely one of the baits he was throwing. So that that gets me thinking. So I look at I look at it like this: Scott Martin, right? professional bass fisherman, one of the biggest names in the world in bass fishing. And he's fishing the opens trying to get into the elites, all right? Now, this is his job, his profession. He has to catch them, all right? This is one of the baits that he choose, chose to use. So um, that tells you right there that it catches them, and it also tells you that it's a confidence bait for a lot of pros. I don't hear a lot of pros talk about them. Some of the pros that are sponsored by Jackal, you might might see something on it. Other than that, you don't really hear about it. Now, here's the problem. This is what I struggled with um, with putting this video out. I, I on, on my last videos, you know, I like to say you can you can get this bait again. You can go get it now. This is a little different. 
it's extremely hard to find the 007. Uh, I know Tackle Warehouse is sold out, Hook Up Tackle sold out, Tackle Direct sold out, um, uh, Susquehanna Fishing Tackle, I even checked, which is a, a, a shop close to here in Pennsylvania. Um, I'm in Maryland, but about an hour away from my house, they're sold out. You can find them on Amazon and you can find them on eBay, but you're going to pay about 50 or 60 bucks. But the good news is Tackle Warehouse has on their site that it will be back in stock soon. So hopefully it will be and uh, we can pick them up again. With, with all that being said, thanks again. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to throw out there really quick. Uh, I try to reply to every comment that I get. I have seen one the other day. I've seen one the other day. And uh, one of the viewers has asked, uh, hey, I would love to see a video on what you think, you know, a buzz bait video, basically. You know, like, let's hear about some interesting buzz baits. So my initial response was the squeaky dolphin. The squeaky dolphin is a buzz bait from Reaction Innovations, and that deserves a video of its own. But then I started thinking, like the same as the riser, I, I like to... I'd rather do something that people can still go get, or actually the the buzz bait that I have in mind that I would that would be my pick. Um, you can go buy it right now. It's not that expensive, but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments. What, what y'all think in the comments? The best the best buzz bait. Now I know there's different buzz baits for different situations, and it depends on on all kind of different conditions. But if you could only throw one buzz bait. If you would have to pick, like, the best buzz bait ever made, what would you pick? I'm going to throw mine out now, and my logic behind it is I want it to pick one that's easy to get, that's a beast, and I'm going to say the Calvatron. But I want to know what you guys think and what you guys say. So let me know in the comments. So with all that being said, until next time, hope everybody had a great Valentine's Day. Peace.